Giants hosting the Mariners, and the Mariners are plus 124 on the money line. The Giants are minus 146. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Mariners getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 182, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. While the Giants laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Mariners are 3-2 and two as a team in Wu's five appearances. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched and 6.4 strikeouts per game in those games. So you may want to keep an eye out for him on the strikeout line. Same thing goes for Webb. He hasn't pitched against the Mariners. They are 6-4 in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging 6 and a third innings pitched and 5.8 strikeouts per game in those games. He's very, very capable of having one of these nights where he strikes out 10 guys, or you can get one of those nights where he strikes out three. So keep that in mind. Head to head, the home team is six and four. The Giants are seven and three. The favorite is six and four on the money line. However, the underdog has won the last three games. The underdog is six and four on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have been four one run games in their last 10 meetings, one in their last three. The over is 6-3 and three in their last uh, 10 appearances. One game actually did not have an over-under. And the over 7.5 runs is 7-3 and three in their last 10. The last series they played against each other was in 2021. It was a three-game set in Seattle, and the Mariners took two out of three. Eight to seven, the Giants won six to four, and then the Mariners won four nothing. For those who are concerned about the wind, it is blowing out towards dead center field at 11.4 miles per hour and this is another big stadium so the wind may not have too much of an effect on this the mariners have won their last two games they're two and two in their last four and five and five in their last ten the over is hitting their last three and the over is eight and two in their last ten games there's been a total of five runs 19 runs 11 runs and 13 runs in their last four games for uh one run and a loss four runs and a loss eight runs and a win seven runs and a win that's for the mariners the Giants have dropped their last two. They're four and six in their last ten. One and four in their last five. The under is five, four, and one in their last ten games. There's been three runs, nine runs, five runs, and twelve runs combined in their last four games. One run and a loss, five runs and a win. One run and a loss, four runs in a loss. I picked again. I keep picking against Wu, and he keeps kind of sticking it to me, but. I trust Webb a little bit more in this situation, especially at home. I'm going to take the Giants with the money line. I'm going to take the Giants laying the runs, and I'm going to go over. But I picked against the Mariners when they were playing a better team in the Rays, and they stuck that up my, well, you know the expression. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.